हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू बीएफएससी फिशरीज ऑनलाइन क्लास इन ट्रॉल नेट पार्ट वी स्टडीड अबाउट द ट्रॉल नेट द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ ट्रॉल नेट द टाइप्स एंड ऑल इन दिस क्लास वी विल बी स्टडिंग अबाउट द ऑपरेशंस ऑफ ट्रॉल मींस हाउ वी ऑपरेट द ट्रॉल नेट वाइल वी आर टोइंग लाइक हाउ वी टो सेटल एंड दैट्स ऑल सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द टॉपिक ट्रॉल नेट आर अ टाइप ऑफ नेट इन विच द मेन प्रिंसिपल इज अ बैग नेट इज स्टोर्ड थ्रू द वॉटर टू फिल्टर आउट फिशेस द सो द द मेन थिंग वी डू इन ट्रॉल मीन्स लाइक वॉट वी डू इन ट्रॉल नेट वी जस्ट लिफ्ट द ट्रॉल थ्रू द वॉटर टू फिल्टर आउट फिशेस सो इन दिस केस द माउथ वॉज केप्ट ओपन एंड दिस माउथ वॉज ओपन बाई मीन्स ऑफ बीम और बाई ऑटर बोर्ड और वर्टिकली बाई मीन्स ऑफ फ्लोट्स एंड सिंक सो दीज आर द थिंग्स वॉट वी डू इन ट्रॉल नेट सो दीज आर ऑल एंड वॉट द मेन थिंग इज वी कैन ऑपरेट द ट्रॉल नेट इन साइड और वी कैन डू स्टर्न ट्रॉल ट्रॉलर so there are some benefits or advantage or disadvantage of operating the trawl net like when we uh, do the side trawling then side trawling like uh, it can have several methods like we can do two or more of fishing methods in side trawler the main thing in side trawler is the wheel house in side trawler is or on on the aft side means backward side the living accommodation is always on the forward side uh, uh, either it is side trawler or it is stern trawler the gallows are on the starboard side means like uh, it is on the starboard side of the boat so these are the side trawler and the stern trawler in which the main gear operation is on the backward side like wheel house was inside trawler the backward side but in stern trawler it is on the forward side in stern trawling the main advantage is we can save the time See, since it is less time spending like we have to spend less time traveling to and from the fishing ground the winch are on the aft side of the deck so these are all the operation of side trawling and the stern trawling and the advantages of them so these uh, this is a type means like boat description i have shown in this figure like what is uh, gantry in the image we can see the accommodations like what are gallery and what where, where is crew room freezer it is all shown in the figure stern side means back side and uh, engineer rooms uh, trawl deck combing all are shown in the figure so this is uh, the figure of a trawl net operation operating on the boat first we have to see the operation of trawl net so in this we have to main start mainly study for the deck equipment what deck equip equipment we have to follow in trawl net so first is the pulley the pulleys are like in image we can see the pulleys are shown these are actually uh, like to pull the trawl net when we are operating or we have to throw it to the like we have to throw it to water or we have to pull it back to the boat then we use the pulley for this like towing and like hauling the gear for trawling operations and the derrick are the part of the pulley we can say derrick are uh, installed just after the mast side and de derrick also helps the pulley to stand by and pull the gear or to through the gear to the water so these are all the deck equipment pulley and the derrick the main difference between the cranes and the derrick are they are most similar but they have a hosting machine they are mainly the hosting machine used to lift move and heavy loads in such places at factories shipyards and at construction sites Le, uh, like differences between the crane and the derricks are the derricks are the stationary part while the cranes can move from place to place under their own power so this is a difference between the derrick and the cranes
and what are the troll winches we can say that troll winches troll, winches are operated by troll like it is a drum like structure they are can be operated by hydraulic devices so it helps the pulleys to pull the uh, like when we tow the gear then it helps in pulling the gear back to the boat so this is a diagram of derrick device they are having mast point guy and uh, load hook how it is pulled so derrick's help in movement of like troll net what we when we throw it and then we have to pull it back then derrick and mast helps so it is a um, image shown now first thing for the outrigger like what are outrigger first i have to explain this that outrigger are multiple trolling devices used when towing the war so this is outrigger trolling multiple um, boat or we can say that multiple troll net operating and in towing what is towing so when we are operating the troll net towing is a, a arrangement to show how the troll net are working the towing warps are wound on the two drums of the troll winch the port warp runs forward along a deck bollard to the starboard utter board then starboard warp runs forward near the bulwark and then aft to the port utter board while towing both the warp are brought together in a clasp mechanism what happens in towing arrangement like first we have to maintain the speed of the boat during towing arrangement so in in towing part we have to first warp the wound on the drums of troll winches like war, uh, warp have to wound around the drums of the troll winch well when we have to throw the gear in the water then the port warp or the starboard utter board side we have to put the port warp and then after towing while we are towing both the warp have to put back together in a clasp mechanism so they have to put alongside so we can pull back it to or we have to throw it to the water then they have to be together so this is an arrangement showing in the image like what are the warp the uh, warp and uh, towing speed we have to main, maintain and during towing we have to put the warp to the utter board side and the uh, port side is the back stroke the sweep line and then the net so this is a image of towing arrangement and in this as the second image is showing the wheel house the stern side it is on the forward side and we have to operate on the side so it is a side troller and there there is having a derrick outrigger block towing warp mast so uh, all these are shown in the fig figure in settling of the gear first we have to do is during settling the gear the vessel begins to drift matlab uh, when we have to settle the gear first the vessel have to drift and the engine is stopped at that time first when we have to settle a gear this image is showing the winches what are the winches uh, image are showing so in during settling part first we have to put the cord end in the water the tying ropes the bull rope and the quarter rope are tied tied at their respective places the utter board are connected to g link in last slide we have already explained about the g link the vessel are moves ahead slowly paying out the ground cables the cables pass through the kelly's eye till the stopper jams in the eye so what happens during settling first the utter board are connected at the g link g link can be uh, like when we are show, uh, explaining the troll net image we have to show that uh, we have we can see that utter boards are connected by the g link then the sweep lines are connected so uh, then it is unhooked from the dog chain on the gallows then these board are slowly lowered into the water immediately the speed is increased to help the net to spread evenly means after we have settled the gear the speed should be increased so to 
make the toilet spread then the winch brakes are released paying out the required length of the valve during this operation care needs to be taken not to foul, foul the propeller Mat means like we have to do is we have to make the make the operations very like we have not to do any mistakes if we can we if we are doing some mistake then the gear will fall on the propeller so we have to do it properly the winch brakes are applied and the both valve are grabs together in the towing block so this is a settling of gear and after settling image are showing how gears are settled or we can say that it is like we are operating or hauling the gear and then uh, gallows uh, what are gallows i have explained it uh, earlier also in my last video but this time also i am explaining that troll gallows are what they are v shaped heavy steel structure fixed on either side of the stern part of the trawler and this is used to hitching up of utter board as well as passing of towing valves it is valves in here written the position of the gallows is very important in order to avoid falling of the valve during a sharp turn so this is a gallows part uh, it, it, this image is showing the hauling of the gear and in hauling what happens is while hauling both the valve are released from the towing block and and are hauled by the winches uh, like it continues till the utter board reach the gallows so then the winch brake is then applied and the utter board are hooked to the dog chain on the gallows after disconnecting at g link it continues till utter board reach the gallows then to bring the cord end toward the side of the vessel bull rope is untied from the headline and taken over quarter rope so this is a part where we are explaining how the operation of trawlnet uh, done like how we settle the gear then how it is towed towed or and then uh, it is uh, how it is hauled so this uh, all are the processes involved in this part so uh, this is an image of troll net uh, in which we have shown that what are warps warps are connected to the sweep lines and the utter boards and the utter boards are then connected to the back strokes utter boards are drag line friction lines of the sweep line are shown it is a top view floats and sinkers are also shown in the image the the uh, upper level like upper part is called as headline the lower panel is called the foot line and floats and sinkers are attached to it so uh, this was the operation of the troll net thanks for watching and this video was in english because many of them asked to make videos in english if you want uh, me to make videos in hindi too we can make in hindi also thanks for watching stay tuned for the next video and if you want more videos in any of the topic please comment down in my comment box thank you